Hey, what's going on guys? It is Ice Cold with Astralis. Today, I'm going to be going over how to play Smoke on Clubhouse. Now, I'm going to be showing all the default rotates, holes you should make, and how to play every single site. Let's get straight into the video. Now, starting with the basement here, starting off with the rotates in church, we're going to be making blue rotate, and we're also going to be making key holes on the right side of the church hall. After this, we're going to make some rotates into the main hall into Arsenal. We're going to be making a jump hole rotate, and then we're also going to make a crouchable rotate as well so you can get through it and then personally i like to add these head holes as well and then the feet holes into ash wall as people call it and it actually adds pressure so they can just run in the short hole or long hole and then next up i make these holes above the hatch and arsenal so you can watch the kitchen jump in after you make these rotates we're also not going to forget the blue rotate here which is probably one of the most important ones into dummies box your roamers your roamers are going to get every single hatch either a vigil or a Wamai, anything that doesn't have a lot of utility. And then also, don't forget these impact holes. Now, one of your other teammates are going to get these walls here. We're going to get the two blue walls, the one into church and the one into back arsenal. Now, these will help you be protected from dirt or anywhere that you get shot. And then after this, we're going to get all three of the church walls as well. Some people like to put head holes on the left side. I personally like to reinforce them all. Also, you're going to get dirt box or someone else that doesn't have a lot of setup. Or you can get it if you have enough time. Let's talk about positioning a smoke on your playing basement here. Now, there's a different couple places that you can put a shield. I've seen some people in Pro League play different shield spots. One in dirt. If you wanted to, you put one right here onto the AK rack looking towards blue. You get this little pixel peek towards main stairs as a defender. And it's really nice because it's pretty hard to angle to contest from bottom main. Now, the shield will cover blue or it can cover any rotate. And you can kind of play there safely if they have dirt. Another good shield that you could put also is dirt. Paired with a Lumai, a Jaeger, even a Mute will help you hold dirt off and waste time and make some waste utility. Now your main objective here as smoke and basement is to try to waste time, utility, and you want to make sure you use your smoke canisters. Even if it's in the beginning or in the middle of the round, if you use one just to stall them out from a rush or even them getting potential control of a certain area is crucial. If you give it up, ask someone to retake position. The last shield I want to talk about here is the one into church looking towards the moto. Now this shield is really nice because if you're playing blue, you're kind of protected from the moto drop here. Now with smoke paired with your gas canisters, you can smoke off moto door and you can really hold time and waste it. Hopefully these guys helped you and let's get on to the next site. Going on to cash and CCTV, the first thing that you want to do as smoke is make the R3 head holes and you want to make top holes or nitrable holes that you can throw stuff over and then a jumpable rotate as well from cash to CC. After this, you're going to want to open the CC wall if they have a Maverick up. This helps not only your team, but it also makes it hard for the attackers to get the wall with Mav. It makes it difficult to Mav the lines and it takes more time. After this, you're going to make rotates, and you're going to open up the con hatch, along with feet holes, along to Lodgy. Your reinforcements you're going to get is con single, you're also going to get the cash single wall, and then you're going to go over to red wall, you're also going to get that to protect you from any shots across. And then, like I said earlier, you want to make this jumpable, and then after this, you're going to get the CCTV walls, the R3 wall as well, and you're going to go down to garage, you're going to get all four of the garage panel walls. Now, most likely one of your teammates is going to hold down Garage, not going to be you because it's smoke, you're going to want to use your smokes for the breach or anything going into Con, or you can also smoke off CC window. Realistically, you can use smoke however you want and you can use this gadget to your priority. Now, there are some different shield placements that I've seen between Pro League and some other teams that you may know in particular is known as CL teams. This shield on cash protects you from the wall, although it is very natable or they can get it with a Zof gadget. Another great shield is top red. It really is hard to get rid of, uh, otherwise if they need it through the hole, and you can protect from the breach, or you can put it on this red drone hole as well. You can just hold close, but it's very natable, and it's a very common spot. You can throw smokes on the breach as well. Or another good lineup here for smoke is you can throw it over the CC rack, and you can actually smoke the default plant and get rid of the planter. So you have to either run towards the window or towards the breach. As I forgot the state also, but you want to make these holes on default. And then there's some other holes as well that people might not have known. This is another great angle towards bottom garage doorway that I personally like to use. And you can't really get seen through the breach besides the drum hole if you're really hidden. Another great angle right here is below the cash box. You can actually open up the soft floor below to watch the stock door. If one of your players is holding below and lounge, this could really help out. 
along with this hole right here, watching the stock door. It's a very natable spot that people use, and it's very common as well. Put head holes or feet holes along the stage wall towards stock. It really helps out, and you can see from above. Usually players don't take con that early, unless it's a split push. So this could really help out one of your roamers. Our third site here as Smoke and Gym Master, we're gonna start by making up the rotate into gym. This is very crucial, the first thing you have to do every single round. After this, you're gonna wanna make feet holes into gym, and I like making another rotate on the side, on the left, just so you can run through it and you don't have to go through just one rotate. And after this, you wanna go into bathroom and make a jumpable rotate, just so you have some coverage if they do get the jacuzzi in the round you're next gonna want to make this gold rotate into master just so you can get around between the two different spots after this you're gonna want to make a jumpable rotate as well and from lodging to con now people do it differently I like the right side personally just so you get a little more flexibility you could run back into the the cash door now you're gonna want to pop the hash and then reinforcements you're gonna want to get two of the con walls these walls will help you make them use utility after this one of your teammates are gonna get the two CC walls on the outside just so you have protection if you want to peek the windows after this we're gonna go back to lodging and someone is going to get the one lodgy wall that leads into con either or which side of the road till you make it just depending on how your preference is after this one of your teammates are going to also reinforce the outer jacuzzi walls and then you're going to want to reinforce the bathroom walls as well so you don't get shot and your final reinforcement will be on the gym single wall Again, when you're playing smoke, there's a lot of preference you can do between the shields and opening up which hatch you want to open. So, these shield spots I'm going to show you here are all based off of you and what you want to bring with our team. The first shield here is we're going to do the master bathroom shield on the right side of the double door. Now, this watches con door and the master, and you can't really get shot through the window. It's a nice protection. They have to use utility to get you out of there. Now that bathroom shield isn't the most common one, but this is the most common shield that you should know. And the shield goes into con, looking towards cash door. Now as smoke or literally anyone, well my is also very good here to feed the disc on the door. And you can just play here and you can smoke off the door if you need to or just hold it. And then this other shield here I'm going to show you, the master bed shield. Let's know in the comments what you guys use, and let's get into the final site. Now, I'm not going to lie, I'm not really a bar player myself, but I've seen a lot of pro teams use this site a lot recently. Now, maybe this is the meta, maybe people are learning how to finally play bar, and people are like, oh, you know, we want to play this now for some reason. Nothing wrong with that. Here's my setup that I'm going to show you guys. The walls we're going to get here are the first two pool table walls and two strip. Now, if you want to extend the strip, that's also a good placement if you really wanted to. You can extend through pool table, bring a castle as well, that would be nice. The next two walls we're going to get are the inner bar walls. Now these will protect you from kitchen hall and it can also protect you from stage as well just getting the crossfire. Now if some teams want to open this, you know, they could do it, but you have to take bathroom control in order to do that. And now if you hold down bathroom, you know, you have a player there, then it's going to be very hard to test. You want to get this other bar wall as well and then the two stage walls. I like popping the con hatch as well just so you can put some pressure from above or you can hear what's going on up top. You can use a smoke if you want to or you can use a utility if you're another operator. These stage walls, they will have to use some sort of Thermite, Ace, Hibana, Maverick, anything really to open up the wall. Like I said, I'm not really a bar player, but this shield right here is a very powerful one that I've seen in Pro League before. It basically watches the entrance of the main door and you can smoke out use utility and they have to use some sort of impact or grenade to get you out of there. Now, if you're holding up top here, we're going to reinforce both jacuzzi walls as well, just so they can't get that easy point of shooting at you through the wall. And they have to use, again, a Thermite, Ace, or Hibana, or Mav. Now, if you're going to hold up top, I recommend making some rotates for your teammates. You can make one, again, to Lodging the Master, and you can also make one into Gym, just so you can get the cross pressure, and you can hear what's going on, on the other side of the walls. Again, I keep repeating the same concept here, but realistically, it's up to you when you want to reinforce or do anything on this map. Clubhouse has been around since the beginning of the game, basically, and it's very flexible. You know, there's different ways you can do it. As you see here, I ran on a con single reinforcement, so I only got one of the walls. So it's really up to you. This concludes the video, and hopefully you guys learned stuff from this. Let us know in the comments if you guys use these. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and make sure you guys have a good day. Peace out.